right, and welcome again to Super Short Track Racing Series. Today we'll bring you racing action from Lee USA Speedway in Lee, New Hampshire. Lee USA Speedway. The NASCAR Wheel and All-American Series, sanctioned here by NASCAR, and uh, we are delighted to uh, be uh, involved with one of the real true uh, racing sanctions in this country. Okay, we are set. Get this program underway. Glad you could be with us here. Enjoy because we got a good show lined up here for you. The Northeast uh, Classic Lights are part of the, the affair here this evening. And here we go as they look up into that bright sunshine in the shadows of turn number four. Green flag is out and we are underway. Opening lap here in New Hampshire Center of Speed and they are bunched together through that first and second corner. Down the back straightaway. Rollins is right up behind the 83 car Ryan Green. You could put a blanket over this field as they work off the number four corner and down the front chute. Rollins, Ovitz to the bottom of that yellow number four car. And right behind is Magnotti. Down the back chute, Ray Dinsmore has got a lot of pressure coming from Ryan Green and J.R. Burrill. Burrill to the bottom now is going to challenge for the lead as they come off the corner. Dinsmore to the high side. And the Alpha main driver trying to hang on to that number one spot as they go side by side, wheel to wheel, number to number, out of turn number two. Down the back straight away. Look at that number four, Albi Ovid pills the bottom of that number three, turn to the inside of Green, goes to the inside of Dinsmore, and he's going to make a bid for the number two spot, and he'll come away with it down the front straight away as they go into the turn. It'll be J.R. Burrell sitting atop the field as they work down the back straight away, and by the folks in the check and flag pub, off the turn, it'll be Burrell leading him to the strike, four laps completed. They are going the distance of ten laps. The opening race here for the Prime Storage Elite Model Sportsman Division. We are going to cross the stitch now, and we are halfway. Halfway here in the first race of the night, J.R. Burrell. Look at Rollins right there with Ovid off the turn, putting a little bit of pressure on the back end of that number four car as they work the third and fourth corner. Out of the turn, it's Green still in fourth spot. And Yanni is in fifth and then Ray Dinsmore, the goal center, at the back end of the field. Here's uh, a challenge for the number two position out of the corner. This is Rollins working the high side as they set up in that third turn. Through the shadows of the fourth corner and down the front straightaway. Good battle going on for position there. And that's for the number two spot on the speedway. Rollins still pestering Albiovit in the yellow number four car. Two laps to go at the stripe. Two to go. Rollins looks to the inside. Rollins wants that number two position and he is challenging Ovid, but Ovid fights back. Plenty of motor coming off turn number two. Here comes Rollins to the inside. The white flag is out. One more lap to go for Burrell. So even though it's a heat race, you've got some good competition going on for the number two spot. A family cab is going to roll by the checkered flag out here in the front straightaway. J.R. Burrill takes down the heat race over it. Rollins, Ryan Green, Nick Magnotti, Alfred's, uh, Alfred Baines, uh, Ray Dinsmore bringing up the back end of the field in car number 18. And at the back of the field, it'll be Bo Green, the former champion. Lines up alongside Grant Eighth here. He is in the number 93, and here we go. Green flag over the speedway. He number two. Out of the turn, down the back straightaway. It'll be the 92. Sits atop the field. Ricky Porter, many-time feature winner here at Lee. Right at the drop of the green flag in the opening lap, we got a race going on for the second sport, like we, uh, like uh, the second spot, like we did in the uh, in the opening heat race. This time the players are different. Of course, it's uh, Michelle Fishpansky and uh, Grant Aether. Aether's all over. The number uh, one percent here as he challenges from the high side off the second corner, had to back out of it. Uh, the lift going down the back straightaway. Green is in the fourth spot. The 
Michel washes up in the second turn. Grant goes by on the inside. Aether goes to second. Bo Green is in the fourth spot. Patrick Stewart. They come down the front straightaway. And a convincing lead here, enjoyed by the driver of car number 92, Ricky Porter. Steve Grant's got the flags crossed, and he's going to show them to the competitors as they come off the fourth turn. We are halfway. Porter that time looked like he pushed up in the second turn. You can see how quick Aether's closing on him. Aether may have something here for him at the finish. Porter's got it down. Oh, but look at him wash up. Having a hard time keeping it buckled down between uh, one and two. And it's giving Grant Aether the golden opportunity to close the advantage and come right up behind the number 92 car. Next time by, there'll be two laps to go here, and Aether is right there, about a car length behind the 92 in the back straightaway. Two laps to go for the leaders as they come off the turn. Michelle is third, Bo Green fourth, Patrick Stewart fifth, David Piper's back in sixth spot. Let's see how this works out now as they come off the second turn, lunge down the back straightaway, white flag is out, and Porter is trying to hold that race car down because he knows Aether wants the bottom. And Grant has got the nose of the James R. C. G. Auctioneer's seven-ounce car underneath. And uh, look at this. A drag race down the back straightaway. This is for a win here in the second heat race, and it'll be Grant Aether. He reeled him in and went by and goes on to victory. Second is uh, the number 92. That's Ricky Porter, followed by Michelle Fishkansky, Bo Green, Patrick Stewart in car number 14, David Piper rounding it out in car number 53. So the heat races for the Prime Storage and Warehouse Sleep Models. <laughs> 800 doorman car from Nottingham. In the fourth starting spot, it'll be the number 38 for Hannah Shaw from J. Uh, uh, Chester, New Hampshire. Also in the lineup is the 07 Travis Hollins from Milford, New Hampshire. Next, Tyler Mitchell in the number 60. As they rumble down into that first turn, Chris Murray is in the number 99. The 49, Zach Washburn, down the back straightaway, and here we go. This is the opening lap, as you know, and things are close here at the front of the field. Here they come down the front straightaway, and uh, it's Brothers Horvath. Leading it right here at the drop of the green. Out of the turn, Shane looks to the inside of Evan. Here comes uh, Hollins on the high side. Wow! <coughs> Good close competition in the Ironman division here. Tyler Mitchell's on the move with the number 60. On the inside, they got a strong challenge for the lead out of turn number two. Shane Horvath trying to stave him off as they work into turn number three. Danielle Simino's hooked up in a battle with Evan Horvath in the 23. Side by side out of the turn here. Who's going to lead the lap? It's close. Looked like it was Horvath in the 10 by inches. Now Mitchell takes over the lead here. The Drake at Mass driver in car number 60 sits atop the field in the... Uh, at the halfway point of this one. This is an eight lap heat race, four laps down, four laps remain at the stripe. Tyler Mitchell in the Transmedic sponsored number 60. The 07, Travis Hollins in the Emory's portable welding car. Feature winner here in our first Friday night show under the lights here at Lee USA Speedway. Horvath staying strong in car number 10. Giving chase in the turn number one, dropping to the bottom of that first turn. Simino and the 23 car. Evan Horvath battling for the fourth spot further back in the field. And Simino moves by. Two laps to go off the number four corner. Two to go as they come down the chute. Out of the turn, looking up into that bright sunshine as they bear down on the third turn. White flag is out. One more lap to go. The American Auto Parts Iron Man Division. Down the front straightaway, the top three. We may have a, a pretty good uh, 
contested feature here tonight with this division. These three running away and hiding as Steve Grant sets to uh, throw the checkered flag, and here they come down the front straight away, and it'll be the number 60 car, Tyler Mitchell out of Draken, picking up the victory, followed by the 07 Travis Hollins, Shane Horvath in car number 10, Danielle Simino in the number two, and Evan Horvath rounding out the top five in car number 23. All right, 24, the winner last week, the Swiss Set Tool Company car for Dave Sanborn. Starting fifth in the number seven, Ryan Gath in the Ryan Gath electric car. Here's your green flag. Bob Weber Jr. in the number 19, and Jim Parker. Down the back straightaway, Tom Morello's fast off too. And opens up a sizable lead. We're going to go to yellow though. Caution on the speedway. First quarter championship night here at Lee. Small block supers gonna run 35 laps for a thousand to win tonight. Late model sportsman, 35 laps for five hundred dollars to win. Hobby stocks are running a 30 lap right tonight. Picking up three hundred and fifty to win. Got them grouped up together and ready to give it another try here to get this thing started. First of two for the Benson Lumber and Hardware Supers. All right, Steve Grant looks them over, and here they come. And the front three flag, we have Carroll, we have Tom Barello. Almost looks like an instant replay from Bob Yurko as Tom Barello sprinted out to the lead. Sample on the outside of Carroll as they battle between the wings from that first turn. Sanborn now giving chase. Here comes Ricky Wolf to the bottom. Nice move for Wolf as he goes to third. Wolf is really starting to look very comfortable in a small block super modified. His career has always been in full body cars. Last year was somewhat of a learning curve for the Mormon champion. And right now he's got a solid third going. Really starting to look right at home. Ryan Gant is running in fourth. Fifth is Tony Carroll. Bobby Weber Jr. Here's your leader, Tom Barello. Down the back straight away, Tom Barello continues to set the pace. Closes on the second place car, Dave Sanborn, Super Day. And he brings Gaff with him in car number seven. But Sanborn's going to hold on to the position. Does a nice job here. The checkers and the finish. Tom Barello wins it. Second goes to Sanborn. Followed by Ricky Wolf, Ryan Gaff. Fifth spot 
the number 19, Bobby Weber, Tony Carroll. Rounding it out in the first qualifying heat race for the Benson Lumber and Hardware Super Modifieds. Benson Lumber and Hardware race fan since 1913. They're your one-stop lumber and hardware headquarters, conveniently located in Derry and Londonderry. Their knowledgeable staff can help you with all of your residential and commercial building projects. Whether you need a few simple hardware supplies or estimates from a complicated blueprint, Benson's can help. Stop by their Derry or Londonderry location. Number 22, he intentionally, intentionally chooses to drive one-handed. Take a glimpse at him in that number 22. Veteran Mo Latimy is in the number 59 from Kingston, New Hampshire. John Booth and uh, New. Jake Sturgis in the Union Square Management, number 11. Glad to be getting on the binders. The back end came around and he went down into the infield. Did a wonderful job of bringing it up in a timely fashion so that uh, we are able to convey over the PA system what happened. All right, what's happening now is the green flag. And Steve Grant likes the way they look. The Supers are super at Lee. Nedishin out in front. Keezer and Sparky, the one-handed Sparky McIver. Sparky's running in third. Here comes Sperling in the 61, wing the wing with Mo Lattery. As they go in the turn number three. Nedishin looks like he's got himself a fast hot rod here tonight. Out in front in car number 55. Sparky trying to reel in Leslie Kieser. Clicking off very fast laps here in New Hampshire Center of Speed. Next time around, it'll be halfway. Halfway here now for the race leader, Mike Medishin. Edison really trucking the freight here out in front in the late stages. Since the drop of the green flag, he's been impressive. A tiver in the r, r Public Wholesalers, number 22, trying to catch up to Leslie Kieser. The Kieser is fast down the straightaway himself. The bright yellow, number 27, a newcomer to the racing game. Boy, he was impressive last year. laps to go when Nedishin brings them down the front straightaway. White flag out, one to go. So Mike Nedishin shows him in heat number two who's boss as he takes Steve Grant's checkered flag and scores the victory. Kieser second, McIver third, Latimy and uh, Sperling rounding out the top five in heat number two for the Benson Lumber and Hardware Small Block Super Modified Division. <laughs> winning race cars over the years, located right on Route 102 in Derry, New Hampshire, and his motto says it's best, the right place. The turn left. Okay, here we go. Paul Palin's going to bring him the green in the number zero, the traditional mortgage car. On the outside, it's uh, Wade Worcester, longtime veteran in these parts, raced a lot of years here at Lee, and he's going to go wheel to wheel, door to door, down the back straightaway. Palin sprints down low into turn number three, kind of shakes free of Worcester from side by side. But Worcester hangs tough. And here comes Chris Jacobson. The James R.C. Gene Auctioneers. ARP Auto sponsored car. Jacobson runs in third spot. Jim Piazzi. He's been in victory lane this year.
He is next in the, the lineup. He's driving car number 65, running in the fourth spot here. Down the front straightaway, car 64, Tariq Kopleski, the Peabody, Massachusetts driver, is in fifth spot, and then Troy Washburn, the Farmington, New Hampshire driver, in car number 44. So it's Paul Palin, veteran driver from Pelham. Field nose to tail here, the first round of heat competition for the Davids Race Cars and Components Hobby Stocks. Off the turn. Piazzi, he's right up behind Jacobson. Hanging tough there, looks like he wants to take a shot at that third spot, but Jacobson's doing a nice job holding him off. Chris is going right after Wade Worcester. There's two laps to go. More times around here in the 3 8 mile, Lee USA Speedway. Palin out in front. Palin over the last few years has been a regular competitor down at the Thompson Speedway on Thursday nights. <coughs> Good to see the veteran driver here at Lee on Friday nights. Steve Grant getting ready to get the popsicles ready to show them two to go. But still a good battle going on for the number two spot. Piazzi with Jacobson stays right on the rear lid. Here is the two to go indication from Steve Grant for Paul Palin. Two more trips around. Jacobson's going to try to get to the outside of Worcester. Not going to happen. A little bumper tag over there. White flag is out. Jacobson right on the rear lid of that number 41. Off the turn, down the straightaway as they come to the checkered flag pub. Still a good, strong, heads-up race for the number two position. Checkered flags out. Palin wins it. Second will go to the 41 Worcester. Jacobson, Piazny, Kowaleski, and Washburn rounding out the field in heat number two. All right, we got 50-50 tickets going to be on sale here in the start. <laughs> Billy Clement is in that 33 car. RacingChatter.com, Kaplan Electric, and Clement Realty. He's out of Bedford, New Hampshire, and then Brian Townsend, the veteran out back. Brian Thompson, Brian Thompson in the 69. That's Thompson. Sandown, New Hampshire driver and a former champion here. Tangway, out of sorts, drops to the bottom of the back straightaway. Up the front of the pack here, we've got Washburn. Washburn and uh, McDonald going at it. And right behind is Billy Clement Jr. Down the back straightaway. Oh, inches apart and Washburn into a slide in the back straightaway, and that's going to bring out the caution flag. Yellow's out. Caution over the speedway here is uh, taking a very short break after this. Call it intermission, if you will, but we'll highlight some of the special events that are coming up here in the next few weeks. All right, green flag out. Here we go. Side-by-side -side action ensues. Clement on the outside of McDonald, and Billy Clement gets by. That's Billy Jr. Here comes Washburn on the outside of McDonald. Brian Thompson's right there in the thick of it in car number 69, and then Pat Dangway. So, we've got five cars there, but they're going to put a show on for you. Out of the turn and down the back straightaway, Washburn and McDonald. Side-by-side -side only this time, it's Ronnie on the outside as uh, Thompson's right behind the 83 of McDonald. Tangley's going to go to the bottom of Thompson in turn number one and contest for the number four spot. Meanwhile, McDonald stays right with Washburn down the back straightaway. Billy Clement Jr. 
He's got a nice pace going here in the 33, and he leads lap number four. McDonald's going to chase Washburn to the bottom of turn number one. Tankway follows. Then it's Brian Thompson in the 69. Heat number two for the Davis Race Cars and Components. Hobby Stockers, we are halfway. Halfway in this one. McDonald pushes up a little bit. And what does that do? It gives Tangway the opportunity to see if he can make something work on the inside. McDonald's able to beat him into the turn, but the bottom is wide open, but Tangway's not able to get there. And McDonald's able to drop it down low, but he rides up again. Washes up in that second turn, and it goes Tangway by. Pat Tangway seizes that opportunity off of turn number two. And the big guy from 11 in Maine goes to third. Two laps to go at the start-finish line. Popsicles are up and uh, over the speedway now. Two laps to go. White flag now means one more to go, right kids? One more time. Kids over on the first turn enjoying themselves on the swings and things, things to ride and slide on. Here's Steve Grant's checkered flag and Billy Clement Jr. has got himself an easy win here in heat number two. For the number two spot, it'll be Washburn, followed by Tangway, McDonald, and uh, Thompson in the number 69. Thank you for watching Super Short Track Racing Series. Next time, we'll bring you racing action from Monadnock Speedway in Winchester, New Hampshire. Remember, you can't go to the big tracks until you've raced at the short tracks.